Welcome back to our campaign 2018 coverage. Results are coming in. Let's get right to the numbers in the all important race for Congress in Omaha. Don Bacon lurches out to an early lead over Kara Eastman by about 5,500 votes. For U.S. Senate in Nebraska, Deb Fisher versus Jane Rabel. Those numbers are coming in as well, but we want to get to the Car Eastman Don Bacon race. Car Eastman is speaking right now at her watch party. Let's listen in. But hang in there, have fun, enjoy each other's company, and let's do this. Nebraska Second District, all eyes are on us tonight. All right, Cara Eastman addressing supporters at 15th and coming tonight saying, let's hang in there and let's uh, watch the tabulation take place. As you saw, we just had our first batch of numbers showing Bacon in the lead. Also, uh, the race for governor, it appears Pete Ricketts is in the early lead over Democratic challenger Bob Christ. We'll get to some more of those numbers in just a moment, but let's get out to reporter Maya Sines, who is at the Cornhusker Hotel in Lincoln tonight, covering Republican Senator Deb Fisher and her efforts to win re-election. Maya? Yeah, Jen, correct. Senator Deb Fisher is in the building, but she has not made an appearance yet. They, her campaign tells me that they're going to wait until the she officially, but they hope, will officially wins to bring her out here. She'll make a few comments that'll be closer to around 9 o'clock. But so far, it's been a lively event so far. A lot of her supporters are feeling very optimistic and say they're hoping that she will win tonight. And just here in this room alone, there are so far probably close to 200 supporters who have made their way in in the last two hours. Again, feeling very optimistic. They're not just feeling optimistic for Senator Deb Fisher, but also for the Republican Party and the voter turnout. Others in attendance here is Congressman Adrian Smith, Jeff Fortenberry, John Morante, and Dan Watermeyer. Again, Deb Fisher's campaign tells me that they're very proud of how they've been running their campaign, been focusing on the issues and all of Senator Deb Fisher's accomplishments. Um, and again, they're just very eager to get her back to D.C. Reporting live from Lincoln, Maya Signs, 3 News Now. All right, Maya, thanks so much. Let's take another look at some of these numbers. Again, Don Bacon in the lead right now with 54%, Cara Eastman with 46%. We'll keep an eye on that race throughout the night. It's going to be a key one all the way up to 10 o'clock and maybe beyond. So we'll, we'll keep you posted on that. Let's go to some other results that are just coming in. U.S. Senator Deb Fisher, that's the headquarters that Maya Signs is at, uh, out to an early lead over Jane Raybould by roughly uh, 13,000 votes, 53% to 44% at this point. All right, some of the next numbers we have coming up. Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts with the lead there. The incumbent 54% to Democrat Bob Christ. The challenger has 46% of the vote at this time. All right, we will continue to follow all the big races and bring you the latest updates as the results continue to roll in. We're anticipating new numbers at roughly 845 on some of the key races. We will send it back to CBS national coverage for now, and we'll have another local update in a half hour. You can find extended live coverage now on our website, on our Facebook page, or on your favorite streaming site. So we will continue covering the races for you online.